Are you going to put on pants before we start? I'm wearing pants. Those are boxers. I like how you try and gaslight me, even though it's visual proof of what is happening. Those aren't pants. We can These are all shorts. Agree. Alexa, what are pants? Good idea. According to Wikipedia, trousers, slacks, or pants are an item of clothing that may have originated in Central Asia, worn from the waist to the ankles, covering Not both pants. legs separately. <laughs> Verifiable proof. Kingdom, you you've been lawyered. On a technicality, you're trousers. wearing short pants. Shorts are similar to trousers. Alexa, stop. They're similar. Ah, and I'm but, glad we had that verified. But not. But not pants. Cool. Not pants. Do you want to put on a fucking brain before we start? <laughs> Do you want to? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Sick. Did you see that shit? That was really Oh my sick. god. Like, I'll have to take the logo off for that intro. One more time for the folks at home, for the visual listeners. <laughs> Fucking nailed it, Holy dude. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. That's the sound of Gen Z tuning out. That was the oh. nastiest dab I've ever seen. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies. This week on This week on There Are hey. Too Many Movies. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies. This hey. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies. This week. Hey, guys. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies. This fuck. What do you say? Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies. <laughs> <laughs> this week on There Are Too Many Movies, we watch We're All Going to the World's Fair. Before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris Collins. I'm Josh. And I'm Alex. <laughs> All right. Wilson. Yep. Just so you know. And crack the... Fuck, that sounds crisp. Ooh. For the folks at home, what, are you, what are you cracking? Azul. Zoa, this podcast is sponsored by Zoa unofficially. Unironically, you've made me sublim sub sublim sublim. Hey sub man, what? Subliminally. You got it. Thank you. That was it. Uh want a Zoa every time I see one now. What flavor are we drinking Do today? You want some? Nah. Nah. What flavor are we drinking today? <sighs> White peach. I, I, I saw that out of the corner of my eye and I genuinely thought it said white bitch on it. White, white bitch. bitch. A white it's, bitch. It's a, it's a white bitch flavor. Big, not not to trying. be confused with fucking grape. Try. Review the Zoa. All right. This, this will be a separate clip. Sure. This is a review. This is a moneymaker. This yeah. is this is actually a sponsored portion of the podcast. Don't so. say that. All it's right. a secret. Well, he doesn't know about it. He? Oh, the Dwayne. Rock. The rock. I mean, Dwayne, my bad. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're on first. DJ. Day. The Scorpion King. Resident I once theory. edited something that he put on his Instagram. That's cool. That's not a joke. Did you I get paid for it? In a photo Shut that up. he posted on his fucking well, Instagram. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Sick. We're basically Hollywood. Yeah. Anyways. Um, what's, let's, the re what's your review of the <clears throat> fucking Yeah, you just completely off? gave up on it. It's fine. Um, not sponsored. Peach is never my flavor. So you don't appreciate a nice juicy peach? Mm. Oh, when you put it that way. <laughs> uh, when it's an asshole. Cool. Let's well, move right that's, along. That's what I was moving with movie podcast. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, what do we do now? Just talk about assholes. No, what's, what's our watch list? Yeah, what you've been watching? Okay. What have? What, yeah, that's what we do on the show. Before we talk about what we've been watching, oh, I'm gonna ask all the listeners a little favor. Can you just tell someone about us? That's yeah, free. Please share it with a friend. You know what is also free? Clicking that subscribe button. You know what's also a thing that you could do as listeners is maybe defend us in the comments sometimes. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's not even bring up the comment section. Those stupid fucking don't, don't even deserve an fucking, ounce of our time. Like fucking <laughs> anger induced. Yeah. Like I just Hey, so they don't understand the elements of a conversation. I <laughs> guess not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, when you're telling somebody information. Yeah. They, I don't I, oh, they gloss over it entirely. <laughs> I like how most of the comments were, we knew that. It was like, <laughs> I already know this. I don't need to watch the Claire's instructional video. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I was like, I don't understand. Yeah. Sorry, uh, are podcasts new to you? I don't get... Yeah. Should, 
I'm sorry. There's certainly there's apparently a million pe- or so people that that have been keeping up with Kihi Kwan and, and liked his, our video. Yeah, get fucking ratioed. He also section. retired in 2002, Chris. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's right. inaccurate. Oh, to good say. point. Thank you for bringing up that one or two line role he had in 2002. Also, By as the, a white man, it's kind of offensive for you to even like bring up Asians <laughs> yeah, at all. Apparently, yeah, you can't bring them up at all. Anything dude. in the Asian yeah. world. I was just telling a cool story about an actor come. Back. I don't even know why race I can was involved. Just listen to that interview. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, that's the funny thing too is people were saying that's wrong. It's like, and I'm so is it wrong or am I also repeating it directly from the horse's mouth? So is Kihi Kwan wrong? Because I'm telling his story. Right. It's a publicity angle. Big fucking deal. Yeah. He 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 retired at Indiana Jones and then came back for this movie. It's like his. It's his return. He considers it his return. Right. He's starring. It's a, it's a role he's proud of. He's not a fucking like like you said two lines in some in yeah. Encino man. Yeah. Thing. Oh re- yes. Thank you so much for bringing up that forgettable ass role he had in a Netflix movie a few years ago or something. Oh. What? I thought you were about to talk shit on Encino, Encino man. man. Oh, I don't know. Starring Modern Brendan Fraser. Whatever. It TikTok is Pauly Shore. Shore. Yeah. Sean Astin. Imagine four, imagine three. commenting on a TikTok just in general. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. Just move on with your life. Unless you're like, big load of cum or something. Of course. Th- those are great comments. Yeah. I love that comment. Need that. That's and also just big loads of cum in general. <sighs> Welcome to there. Come tribute. Movies. I'm quoting you directly. If you do a cum tribute to our TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please. <laughs> Moving. Wait, hey, what have you guys been watching? <laughs> cum we, tributes. What have you got? <laughs> I've, I'll go first. On this, on this movie pod comedy podcast, we talk about our what we've been watching, and I've been watching. Wait, more like comedy. Okay, here we go. What? Please, <clears throat> please. Yep. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, five bucks a month. You I get, need to feed my dog. Gives and I you, can't unless it's five dollars. You get a bonus episodes one every month. You get access to the Discord and bonus content, dude. Yeah, like discussions. Yeah. You get to see behind the scenes what it takes to, you know, determine the movies that we decide to bring to you, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's just a fucking dope little cinephile community. Corrupted memes. You can talk to Grant. Shout out to Grant. True. Shout out to all the blood relatives. You can talk to Caleb. You can talk to, I don't know. Pangolin? Say it. No. Oh, yeah. There's there's another person in the Discord that's very active. and Josh has a vendetta against him. He's my arch... Nemesis. His name? Bumble Jeezy. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not. Shout out to the Doom guy. Yeah. Anyways, Fuck you man, subscribe to our Patreon. It's a lot of fun. Um, what have I been watching? Thanks for asking, guys. Mm, Alice, what are you been watching? Wait, on. well, before we talk about what I've been watching, is there something you want to fucking eat? No, that's good. I didn't bring anything. Oh, okay. I mean, that's I'm, good. I'm starving, and you didn't offer anything when I got here. And, but that's kind of besides the point. You know what I mean? It's like you don't even have a beer to offer. Yeah. You're right. Are you down, <clears> dude? <throat> are you down bad? Do you need money for beers yeah, to are offer you like, us? Are you like throwing up and then drinking your throw up because you need the alcohol? Fuck. What's wrong with you? How do you guys know all this? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you again for asking what I've been watching. Um, uh. I, in our Discord, we had a little watch party. We watched a glorious movie called i am here dot 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 yeah four dots four dots which is non ellipses i am here dot 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 now Now. by the legendary neil breen yeah um what a fucking ride that was there's a solid 12 minutes of actual content in the movie. Yeah. And the rest of it gets recycled for 90 minutes. You, the rest of it is shots you've seen <clears> 20 <throat> times. Yep. And it's also a pan from right to left that lasts about five minutes to get to a shot of nothing. And then you go to stock footage. It's okay. For the folks it's at the home that don't know. the least expertly made movie I've ever seen. Yeah. For the folks at home that don't know who Neil Breen is, picture the room but 10 times worse. Yeah. Like it it would it would pan over for 5 minutes get to the actors that were in the scene and then they'd start walking and then it would pan again while they walked. You're like what what is this? Yeah. Like, like there was the editing was completely ABC. It was like this person's talking, then it cuts 2 second delay. This person starts talking, mm. 2 second delay. 
It was like a student film that was edited with a VHS player. Yeah. So it's is it like purposefully bad? No. No. It's ah. just, it's just bad. so bad. Is this it, the guy that did like the birds or? I don't know. I mean, the bird apocalypse. This guy no, no, make no. this guy makes birdemic. Yeah. Birdemic. This Neil Breen makes birdemic in the room look like fucking Casablanca, dude. I mean, that's not even a good movie. That's like a bad Interstellar, example. I'd say. Yeah, that's better. I mean, fucking it's fucking black and white movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's what a joy that was to watch. The, the, my favorite parts were when okay, so the shots were so abrupt. Like someone would say something to someone, and then full front angle of a person going "yeah" into the camera, as if that's normal. And then the the parts where someone would walk up to someone, and then they just shoot him in the arm <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they're like, "That's my girl." Yeah. Dude, yeah. Oh my god. It was hilarious. It was just like just a mess of a movie and it was glory it was so much fun to watch with the blood <laughs> rallies and just fucking laugh and roast. So shout out we'll be doing more watch parties in the Discord. Shout out to that. Um come hang out. Five bucks a month. Stock Five. footage also all throughout that movie. And also repeated stock footage about twenty times. He was like, I'm gonna get every I paid two hundred dollars for this B roll of windmills. I'm gonna get my money's worth. I'm gonna fucking Oh my god! Did he just use like I think I watched the trailer? I was like, oh, this looks like B roll from the Uninconvenient Truth. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Why have the humans not done this? <laughs> they need to have solar energy. The corrupt politicians. Uh, and, I, that, and like, the what I just said is better than the actual movie. Dude, the dialogue is literally: I lost my job because of the environment, and these politicians don't care. Like. That's actually better than the dialogue. I can't even... Re- yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. my God. It was unbelievable. So, shout out to that movie. Uh, check it out. What else did you watch? Solid first? five out of five on Letterboxd. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, I also watched a movie called Ambulance. Ambulamps? Ambulamps. Ambulance. Michael Bay's Ambulamps. How over the top was it? Um, Michael Bay of... The Rock fame mm-hmm. of Bad Boys, Bad Boys Two, more importantly, mm-hmm. two movies that he referenced inside of Ambulance. By the oh. way, there, there's two people having dialogue, and he goes, "What? You've never seen The Rock? Are you serious? But, yeah, he's like, come on, dude, are you gonna go in there and ask her out? Winners go home and fuck the prom queen.' And he's like, "What? And he's like, what? You never seen The Rock? And this is two cops, same two cops. Twenty minutes later, go, we're gonna get out of the car like Bad Boys." And then it cuts to a that, sort that of can't be legal. It cuts to a low angle of like him getting out of the car. You know the famous Will Smith shot of him getting out of the car, where and he slaps the car. And he's like, "What are you, some kind of Transformers of the last <laughs> night?" Yeah, and he's like, "Keep my na- wife's name." <laughs> um, yeah, no, he. I was like, "What am I?" Like that should be. You're right. That should be illegal. Yeah. Where it's like they were all on set and like, and they're like, "I'll say this. That's fine." So this <laughs> yeah. is this is the most Kevin Smith. Michael Bay film. Yeah, but with Kevin Smith, it can be endearing because it it's yeah. sort of, it's self-aware. It's all in the same universe. I yeah. know. I'm just yeah. Joking. But like, dude, I you just... You hate Kevin Smith. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Basically, I'll, uh, it's so hard. To, I don't want to turn it, this into an episode because I, I would love to do a full episode on this, but basically, it's not fun enough to justify how stupid the movie is. Get it. I mean, the whole movie is a glorified GTA chase. Like it's this ambulance just holding W on the on the keyboard, just fucking. They never get in front of it and stop it. They're like, "How the fuck do we stop this ambulance for two hours?" Right. And you're like, and 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 anytime a cop comes near, he turns into a fucking NPC cop and he fucking fucking <laughs> vroom, into a fruit stand and explodes. Oh my like God. there's li- it's always a fruit. Yeah. I swear, to, there's literally a scene where they get to a dead end cul de sac. The ambulance stops and all the, like they go, it's a dead end. It's like they come over the hill and they can barely see it, right? They stop just in time. All the cops go flying off the hill. Like that literally, sounds cool. Literally, <laughs> literally just like, and, and it's, a, they, it, you can tell in the editing room, they're like, why didn't the cops stop? So they justify it with one radio ADR line of like the 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 police the police that's the cops yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the police come like come in over the radio and go oh that's a dead end slow down and then the cars go vroom it's it was just so 
I mean, it sounds fun, but also like, like, you know, in burnout, whenever you're like grinding against a car to make them hit a pickup truck. Fuck yeah. It feels like it, that's the movie. I would have liked it more if it was more of that. There was a, there was, those scenes were fun and funny. Yeah. Funny. But it was, it was the logical fallacy of the movie completely took me out of like what I thought it was going to be, which was just a real summer. It was a summer fun, top down action convertible fun time. But even smaller brain than you expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it wasn't to the point where I was like, yeah, small brain is fine. Sure, but this is a movie that came out this year. That's all I can really say. Yeah, (laughs) it is a certainly movie that came out this year. Um, I. What do you think of the performances, Chris? Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal and what's his what's the co-star's name? Abdul. I forgot. And you're saying that right? Yeah. Um, they were Mateen. I mean, they were both too good for this movie. Yeah. I mean, they were great. Um, they carried it. As stupid as it was, they acted the shit out of it. Mm. And that was good. The EMT worker, the basically Megan Fox lookalike. Okay. Um, Brown Megan Fox. Basically, yeah. And she has this whole arc where she, you know, blah, blah, blah. She, the whole time in the, in the back of the ambulance, she's saving someone's life, doing surgery, it's stupid. Yeah. By the way, and but by the way, that's illegal. Um, no EMT can do. And she's like, "Fucking, I'm keeping her alive." I'm a surgeon now. She does a surgery via FaceTime with like what? Like there's a they call like she's like I don't know how to do surgery. And then he's like, "Oh well, I the know." Wiki how tracheotomy. Like. <laughs> it's quite. Li- they're literally like prying this guy open, and she's digging her in- around getting a bullet. I- I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this movie for anybody. No, I. That's why I'm mad. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it and then and then uh, the arc is like he's bleeding out and she saves his life with a hair clip. She's like she takes out a hair clip and fucking clogs an artery and then I guess sews him up and he's fine with the hair clip in his body. Yeah. That's okay. Well, I really wanted an epilogue of this movie post credits. You're not a doctor. Yeah. So who are you to say that's wrong? I mean, you know, you bring up a fair point fucking decimated with logic but i would lo- have loved an epilogue of this movie because there was a whole arc where it's like thank you for saving me in the murder right i wanted a whole arc when they get back to the hospital and he's like sir you're gonna die yeah, what? and he's like what <laughs> yeah. you've got 30 seconds to live he's yeah. like what do you mean she saved me you have a hair clip inside of your body yeah. what do you yeah. think is gonna happen he's like what do you <laughs> <laughs> she didn't wash her hands before doing Improv surgery yeah. on you. Hairnet? Nope. Face mask? Nope. Ah. Sterilization? Nope. Just a fucking hairnet. It's just like the a hair side of the human body. You don't really need to wash your hands. He'll be fine. Fair enough. I just imagine him in the epilogue sitting at home reading, like, uh, and then. Ah! <laughs> 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 like he told no one there's a hair clip inside yeah. of him. He's like, I, I'm just saved. Yeah. It must I'm, be fine. It unclips for a second. It... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his whole body turns purple fucking dollar store hair clip he's yeah. like fuck um anyways that movie was dumb i it wasn't fun enough to justify how dumb it was was it cinema <sighs> fuck. was it too small brain to be cinema i enjoyed how dumb it was at times like the crashes were funny even though they were supposed to be epic crashes yeah i will say i will say it's cinema just for the sheer handful of shots that kind of were like really sick um right. the fighter drone sorry fighter drone the the racer drone pilot shots the the tiny little crazy maneuverable stuff you saw in the trailer most of the coolest shots are in the trailer nice um i thought i was going to see more of those but they, they didn't it didn't carry the movie like i thought um overall it's cinema just because it was just like it's 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 on the low tier of cinema but it was cinema sure um, something doesn't have to be cinema for it to be good. There's movies we enjoy that aren't cinema. True. You know? And there are movies that like are like, yeah, they're cinema. But, I don't like these, but yep. they're fucking cinema. Yeah. You know, Mank. Yeah. It's cinema. It was good. And if you, if you want, fuck you, wa- you man. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know, um, how ambulance was just ask the director, which I will insert here. You know, some of the CGI is shit in this movie. Um, uh, There's a couple shots that I wasn't happy with, okay? All right. Is that him puking on stage? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will insert that here. Um, I create visual worlds that are so beyond every, everyone's normal life experiences. And Hollywood is a place 
that creates uh, a viewer escape. And um, what I try to do is, I, as a director, I try to uh, the type is all off. Sorry, but I'll just wing this. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's thank Michael Bay for joining us. Hi, I'm Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no, wasn't it like he was trying to show like a feature or a, a presentation of something? He was it, at some conference. It didn't work, and then he just walks off stage. He, he like borderline pukes on stage, and he's like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's Anyways, good. Michael Bay's a meme. Um, yeah. That's all I watched. Hmm. Not very big brain cinephile of you. All right, really? what did you ask me? Well, then, what do you watch, Alex? Um, I started out with uh, Train to Busan, which oh, is okay. uh, considered a modern classic. Let me guess. Is it on the Criterion collection? No. Oh, it's not. I'm not done with my watch list yet, Chris. Oh. And there may or may not be a Criterion classic oh, shit. waiting. Okay, can't wait. Uh, Train to Busan is fucking awesome. What is Train to Busan? It is a Korean zombie film mm. where a man has to take his daughter to Busan on a train, but there's a zombie outbreak, and it's totally... It's the Last of Us in Korea. Yeah, but it's super over-the-top and just wild. That Big, fat sick. How are the zombies, exactly? They're, uh, well... Are they zombie land zombies? Are they're they... like freaker zombies, kind of. Okay. Or they just sort of, they, yeah. They're running zombies. So. Yeah, they're running. Okay. Uh, really gory, really good characters. Interesting. Wh when did this come out? 2009, I want to say. Cool. You, you know. Yeah, big where, recommend. Where'd you see it? Uh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Tight. Uh, the other one is Taxi Driver, which is a Criterion Holy classic. The first, shit. the first incel movie. Yeah, it's the original. He's literally me, uh, <laughs> but it's he's classic. the Joker, baby. He's a, yeah, it's a classic for a reason. It's fucking awesome. It's a crazy movie. Uh, the soundtrack is godly. Of course, is it strange seeing it parallel to like na I guess a modern Taxi Driver, and you know, don't fucking come at me. I'm just saying it. Uh, or Joker. come on him. Come on me. Uh, Joker. Um, like, th those parallels, I've, I mean, you can't fucking deny the influence oh, absolutely. that Taxi yeah, Driver the, has 100%, on yeah. Joker. The 100%. main characters are different enough, but while still being the same sort of archetype. You it's know a, what I mean? But it, like, it looks yeah, like it's, it. It it's looks like dark, it's in the city. New York. Yeah. Or not New York, but you know. Like a, a man driven to extreme measures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's fantasizing a relationship, all that shit. Mm -hmm. all, yeah, it really has a lot of parallels with Taxi Driver. I mean, yeah. we're not the, you're not the Todd Phillips. Todd Phillips was like, I want to make Taxi Driver, but with the Joker. Like, yeah. that's, a, that's essentially the idea. Go yeah. ahead. Sorry. No, I feel like I don't have to sell you on Taxi Driver. It's a legendary classic. I just picked that up on fucking 4K. I have not oh. watched it yet. Oh. But that's a perfect impression. There, there it is. He's always for the visual smacking listeners. his lips too. I'm always doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. He's talking to me. Uh, that's perfect. That's where that line came from. Are you talking to me, punk? Yeah. Is that you speaking to me right now? I would love to see your your audition tape. I would love to re audition for Taxi okay. Driver in 2022. All right, let's do it. Alex Wilson's audition tape for Taxi Driver. Take one. The remake, 2022. Hey, who are you? Is that, are you, are you talking at me? Are you like trying to have, are you trying to talk to me? Mm. Are, you're a punk. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Let's do another take, but maybe, you know, I'll, maybe, maybe you need a little like, like a one, two. I'll be the mirror. Okay. 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 Hey, what are you doing over there talking to me? I've asked you politely several times now. Please don't talk to me. I have autism, and I would like to be left alone. I don't know why that's that not came the into it. It's not even in the. It's kind of script. an unspoken line. So you're improvising. Not no. It's an, mm. maybe stick to the stick to the book on this one. Okay, all yeah. right. my bad. All one right. more time. Okay. One more time. I I won't be the mirror this time. <clears throat> I'll stick, let you, okay. stick to the book, no matter what. Only say what is in yes. that script. Wait, hold on. I will be the mirror this time. Okay. All right, ready? Hey, you fucking asshole! Hey, man, are you talking to me? I have a gun, and I was in a war. I'm a mirror. And Fuck I, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, because he's talking in the mirror. That's in the mirror, true. he's talking shit. Yeah. And then he's like, here's a 12 year old, and I'm going to save her. 
and that's like the main that's like the biggest line from Taxi Driver. Shouts to Jodie Foster. Yeah. Yeah. Great movie. That was great. Yeah. I think you'll get the role. Thank you. Have you watched anything else? Yes. I watched Mother by Bong Joon Ho. Wow. That's yes. I think I haven't seen that. That might be the only Bong Joon Ho movie I haven't seen. Yeah, I think uh, well I haven't seen Okja or Okja yet. Um which I don't plan on watching until the Criterion comes out. Okay. Mm. Mm, Cuz I'm a cinephile as you can see by my watch list. Big sure. same. Uh also it looks very sad. Cuz yeah, it's, it's about big sad. animals. Yeah. Big sad, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes. A yeah, big Jake Gyllenhaal is one of his weirdest roles ever. He can make me big sad. Jake mm-hmm. Gyllenhaal can. Um, I watched this, I think, too close to Memories of Murder, and there's a lot of parallels with it. Oh. Um, I watched it with Christina, and she said she liked Mother better, but I like Memories of Murder better. Memories of what? Memories of Murder. Memories of what? Of Muck Duck. You want to say it one more time? Memories of Murder. Mm. Am I saying that word wrong? What yes. It? Yeah. Of Murder. Memories of murder. No, dude, you're saying it all wrong. No. Oh fuck! I'm so sorry, yeah. guys. Well, Let me take that t- again. I'll let it all out. Bong Joon Ho's Memories of Moida. Ah, Thank you. Thank you. That, I'm so sorry. Now I guys. know the film that you're talking about. I just woke up like five or six minutes ago. That's all right. Okay. Um, really good. There's okay. The parallels with Memories of Moida are huge. There's, <clears throat> I'd be spoiling it if I told you how they're parallels. Okay. But uh, watch it. Okay. Easily recommend to watch. Is it a crime thriller? Is it? Yes. Okay, it's done. <laughs> B, <laughs> dude. Say no more. B, Juno, yeah. man. I'm I'm going to go. I'm leaving now to go I, watch that. Question. Is Where it, did you watch it? Where'd you watch it? I don't listen. Fuck you guys. For what? That's an honest question that we ask all the time. We're on a movie podcast, and every time we recommend a movie, how else is someone going to find it unless we tell them where they watched, where you watched it? So where did you... I watch? had to resort to using Apple TV+. Plus. Oh! Oh. Congratulations, Alex. You did it? You use Apple TV? Yeah, it's not hard when it service. works. When you hit play and it plays the movie, it's not hard. But when yeah, you hit Alex... play and it doesn't play the movie, that's when I'm like, why won't this work? POV, I'm, Al- I'm Alex using Apple TV and it works. <laughs> uh, there's one small, th- small brain thing about Apple TV Plus, like genuinely, is in the related movies, it had memories of murder, but it said memories of a murderer. And I was like, nah. Mm-mm. Nah, not at all. Does not pass the vibe check. Mm-mm. No. It's like the, the Walmart dollar bin version of the Bong Joon-ho movie? Yeah. Is our boy in it? No. It's the only one I've seen that uh, God does not damn. have him. He's so good. But I would see him in everything. The main lady, the oh. mother in the movie, she's fucking incredible, huh? Oh, what if there's oh. a fucking... <laughs> what if there's a True Detective season four with that dude? Oh, yeah, dude! Let's go! Fucking big fat load of cum city. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to come out of me if that happens. Our, our show Steven is Steven Yoon now. and Bong Joon Ho main guy. Or just that guy and any other great actress. Yeah. Florence Pugh. <laughs> any other great actress, specifically. Florence Pugh. Mm-hmm. That's the second time you said her name. Natalie Portman. Of course. In a detective drama, I think would be great. And then also Florence Pugh. That's a solid list. That's a solid, yeah. Right? Yeah. I like it. Um,. Anything else? What if Florence View plays two people, dude? That would be sick. Let's go. Pulls a split. I like it. Just pulls a pulls glass. a nor- pulls a Norbit. <laughs> <laughs> the Nutty a Professor starring movie. Florence View. <laughs> they Medea. remake Fat Albert, but yeah. Florence Pugh is Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Medea goes to the summer festival starring Florence Pugh. Yeah. I love it. Anyways, Medea goes. The original Medea is a good movie. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Almost made me cry. All right. I saw it on a bus. You almost cried on almost a bus? Almost Medea. Yeah. Cry. I was like, I can't cry on a bus. I'll have to jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Um. Yeah. Mother is really good. It's out of all of his movie. Well, other than Parasite, it's the one that subverts your expectations the most, I'd say. Mm. It just, it really does keep you guessing the whole time. Oh, nice. yeah. Big recommend. Cool. 
Is that it for you? Yes. I'm All a cinephile, right. so yeah. Fine. Just three solid classic movies. Those are, those that's are really good. Yeah, that's no something trash. cinephiles say all the time. You know, it's I'm just, a cinephile. I'm a cinephile. I know good movies. Who are you trying to convince? I, Us or yourself? We know drama. <laughs> yeah. That's the cinephile slogan is we know drama. Yep. Whenever you're ready, Josh. Yeah, just, oh, you know, shut the fuck you're up. the third one to go so far, so it's, it's kind of odd that you don't have your watch list up at this point. So when I talk, then he talks, and then usually... Just Google watch list. But, it's but, really cool when my notes app just doesn't update. Hmm, just, that's weird. Notes aren't that hard to use to me. <laughs> I've never had a problem using notes. It's the app, dude. Hmm, that's interesting <laughs> that you would blame it on the app. So you are conceding that at brief moments when apps will not work, it is pot fuck it. <laughs> I don't see the correlation trying got to make. It, got Josh, anything else? <laughs> I'm just, I don't see it. <laughs> I just um, don't see it. All right. So I reverted back to a fucking DVD that I own. Oh. DVD. What's that, dude? It's a digital video disc. He knows the acronym. What's Let's Blu-ray go. stand for? A Blu-ray. <laughs> it's a compound word. Fuck, how simple. do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it, it shoots Blu-rays. And then it's like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking Blu-rays. What's right. 4K stand for? Fork. God damn, you are a cinephile. Yeah, like Forky from Toy Story 4. Yes, Toy Story Fork, as I've recommended. Ah, it why didn't they call it that? Thank you. Anyways. Miss, miss opportunity. Yeah. Fuck. Anyways, you uh, were resorted okay. to a DVD. DVD. So I got this DVD when I was in uh, film school, Alex. Mm. You may oh that school that you paid money to watch movies at <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh, we're making all that back right now yeah. <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon <laughs> um so I fucking rewatched Sexy Beast hell yeah dude this is one of my favorite fucking movies you recommended this to me a long time ago yes is that like the animal with Rob Schneider or something <laughs> no it is not and it's not the Netflix show where people dress up as beasts a cinema show your favorite show it, mm, top five but this is a british crime th- thriller directed by jonathan glazer of under the skin fame can i say yeah. one, can i say one thing yes glazer i just met her all right yeah round of all applause right. yeah sorry <laughs> welcome to this comedy podcast five bucks a month on patreon for more jokes like that you can buy that <clears> joke <throat> as an nft coining that right now that joke it. took uh 70 years to write wow that's it's, it's like a modern berserk. Hey, thank you. All right. Uh Sexy Beast is starring Ben Kingsley of mm. Ben Kingsley fame. Of the Mandarin fame. Of the Mandarin Your fame. Your favorite interpretation of a comic book hey, character. Man, don't ever say that ever. <laughs> Fighting words. Uh Ray Winstone of Beowulf fame. Yeah. Dude. Remember Ray Winstone and Beowulf? Mm. Yeah. I do remember Beowulf. I remember the movie, but not that guy. He's Bale. I remember Angelina Jolie most of all. Great actress. Great actress. Golden Angelina Jolie. Give me every time. Uh, CG Angelina Jolie. With titty. Uh, <laughs> and Ian McShane is also in Sexy Beast. I fucking love this movie, dude. The fucking... And literally, it's the it's the beginning of it. Like, where he's, like, sunbathing. He's, fu- he's like, literally this overweight fucking hitman ex, you know crime boss or whatever and then ben kingsley comes and just fucks it all up he's like this guy that's not retired coming to this guy that is retired and is like i need you for a job he's like no he's like yes yes or yes (laughs) no what i'm realizing it's very similar to the arc in gta 5 yes of michaels yeah yeah it starts trevor trevor is fucking ben kingsley Uh, yeah it's very much that anyways go ahead uh sexy beast is one of the best crime thrillers Ever of all fucking time, wow. dude. Really good. Big influence for me. Even in standard def? Even in standard def. I need to own this motherfucker on Blu-ray, yet it was released on Blu-ray through like a Criterion-esque. Is it like region two or something? No, 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 no. It's um it's like a small it, it's a small company that that restores films. Okay. And, you know okay. what I mean? Like one of those. So it's limited criteria. production. Exactly. Out of print, a hundred and twenty dollars to buy on fucking eBay right now. Yeah. For and, out of print stuff, that's relatively cheap. I know, I know. I bought fucking Manhunter out of print, and that was eighty dollars. Yeah. Oh shit! That's, that's Fuck not me. a bad deal. Not a bad deal though. But here's the thing: still bullshit. Still sucks. Still yeah. sucks big time. Yeah. But uh, whatever. I'm gonna buy it. And guys, this movie is fucking amazing. Please watch it. Drop what you're doing. 
fucking watch it. If the fucking monologue in the beginning, <clears throat> the narration in the beginning doesn't catch you, I don't know what will. It's fucking amazing. Check it out. I remember being so um, like uh, skeptical of how good it was because you sold it to me so hard, and I was mm-hmm. like, "All right." Yeah, and then I finally sat down and watched. It. I, I do, like, I do do that because I'm like, the shadow is fucking incredible. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll fucking, I'll hype it up big time. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. But it was, it, it lived up to the hype when, it was years ago. You first rec- when you first saw it, you recommended it to me. I think. Yeah. And I was like, eh, it didn't sound that good. And then I finally one day sat down and watched it. I was like, damn. Yeah. It's the entire reason that there are Breaking Bad haters is because of all the people that are like Breaking Bad is the best show ever, and they just haven't watched it because of those people yeah, yeah true yeah you can definitely overhype something yeah yeah everything you remember, what's. um oh well you mm. kind of mumbled something there what huh you kind of mumbled something under your breath there what do you mean yeah it sounded like you said an entire sentence sorry no. but under your breath i don't know no. 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 I, don't I guess so. i just had a stroke yeah but on dvds i specifically want to get a crt again for standard def stuff because it looks so much better on that yeah, you it is. I mean? It it encompasses the shitty resolution better. Yes. Like, oh, it's yeah. It feels weird watching a standard def thing on a widescreen huge TV. Mm-hmm. Right. And but, I've got a huge TV. Yeah. Because I'm a cinephile. Honestly, dude, I thought the Insider DVD looked pretty good. I did too. Isn't that weird? Yeah. But that's fucking. That's Michael Manzi's. Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it scaled up it, well somehow. And it's it's the whole thing is anamorphic. Hmm. Like he didn't like he becomes an animal. <laughs> he didn't fucking he didn't resize it for four three. He's just like yeah, yeah, fuck it. Is it because of the fat film grain in that movie? Yes. Yeah, maybe yeah. that does kind of like fake sharpness sometimes. Yeah. Maybe that's what it, I, I love. Know. I love a good film grain. Um, and uh, I also rewatched a uh, classic classic film. Sicario, dude. Yeah. Yeah. When. In terms Whoa. of one of the best looking films of all fucking Shout time. Shout out to our boy Roger fucking Deeks. Oh, on the watch list, we kicked the fucking plan. Dude, I mean, w- when you Sicari, mentioned the Deeks, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. You dropped the Deeks name? Roger Big Deeks, dude. Mm-hmm. The clapper of light himself. Big Deek energy? The, um, the, the sun is scared of Roger Deeks. Oh, yeah, for sure. The, the sun. sun is doing a blushing anime uwu face to Roger Deakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever the sun sees Roger Deakes, it like puts sunglasses on. It's yeah. It's like, oh shit, it's this yeah. cool guy. Deakes, bro. Sicario is fucking amazing. Sicario is one of the best yeah. looking films I've ever fucking seen. The ent- Chris, dude, the entire fucking sequence. All right, yep. In the fucking night vision, dude. That's unbelievable. That the scene fact is so- that that exists on film, yeah. bro! Holy shit, dude! But oh, but dude, the opening, the opening. If you watch the first five minutes of that movie and can't, no. dude, the fucking the border <laughs> scene, yeah, the, the dude, border that is highway, so ten- tense. the tension of that, dude. Yeah. Fuck, like that is like, like a perfect li- visual storytelling. That is a literal ten out of ten film it's that is a perfect movie beginning to end end to beginning front to back fucking perfection we were talking about like the underside of like society and things earlier before the show started like like this is a great example of we have really deep conversations before the show (laughs) yeah mostly about big fat right (laughs) this is like a political thriller Mm. but it's also those people that work outside of the rules of engagement and stuff yeah. where it's like wearing flip flops to a fucking board meeting about cartels. Yeah, yeah. Like the people you call in off the books, like con- like high contractors, level contractors, that PMCs. Just, that yeah. Basically just, just, yeah. Basically just people like Benicio del Toro is essentially a hitman in this movie yeah. turned, you know, hit, like mercenary. For like, he's too good. Let's, we need this guy in our fucking side. And it's just, D- that underside aspect of it is one of my favorites where it's Josh mm-hmm. Brolin and he runs a team of mercenaries. You just call in to get shit done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, you know, off the book and books, you know, it sounds like a cliche, right? But it's like, this is executed so well that you can totally see this happening. Yeah. It's, it's like, oh, perfectly th- grounded in reality. <sighs> like yeah. this is the messy politics that are really happening and not the fucking CNN, you know, fucking PR report of after the fact. It's like, these are the people doing shit behind the scenes like smuggling people and doing 
people getting people in and out of countries and fucking with cartel and all this crazy shit. It's a great movie. It is fucking phenomenal. I hold this in the same regard that I do Silence of the Lambs, where it's like 10 out of 10, literally perfect. And then the sequel, the follow-up, Sicario 2. Still a serviceable enough film. I think a decent enough sequel, a a movie that, while it isn't Sicario 1, still... Different in tone. It, it kept the same tone as Sicario, but it was it did feel a... Like a like a little, I don't know. It's uh, you know what you've talked about this before, mm-hmm. and here's your review. Ah, uh, yes, uh, of mm-hmm. Sicario. Yes, too. please Ready? go on. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna... yes, thank you. That was yeah. the full quote. That was it. Yeah, I like it, Josh. You obviously don't like it, but I th- fuck that movie, dude. I liked it. Fuck. That I think movie. you just like Sicario one so much that nothing else could like leave it alone leave it the fuck alone it. here's the thing is like you feel this way about Sicario 1 in the same way I feel about 2001 they made 2010 and I was like I'm never watching that I watched it though I hear it's fine really I mean it's not Kubrick though of course not Ex- but exactly but that's yes Deacons isn't involved in Sicario 2 and it's different director dog shit Benicio Del Toro mm-hmm. and Josh Brolin are both in it they're also in fucking their characters are movies, dude. Yeah, I, you know their characters I mean? change between the movies too. They're actors; like, they work for a fucking living. Yeah, they can't be like. I mean, I don't know, but it's not as offensive to me as some it's like. An, it's, it's not like S. Darko or something like it, that. Yeah, it's yeah. Not American as Psycho offensive. Two. Yeah, it <laughs> has most of the main people. It, it it somebody came in and the cinematographer they were just like, hey, do what Deacons did. It looks pretty good. It's it's mimicking Deacons for sure, but it's not Deacons. But they kept the overall vibe soundtrack. <laughs> anyway, so I think it's decent. Benicio it's, del Toro, fan of the hammer, like he's playing fucking like, arcade game. It's not as offensive. It's still pretty fucking offensive. Okay. And we'll leave it at that. Like <laughs> Like and I, this conversation is over. Thank you. Like Iron Man Two was offensive. You know what I mean? It's like Iron Man One is a re- is fucking great. One of the best superhero movies of all time. I don't Iron think- Man Two is pretty bad in comparison. Is it Mickey Rourke that ruins it for you? No, it's um, I don't know what it is. I don't think that's a fair comparison because it still has all the same people. It's still officially licensed and funded and all that stuff. That's not a. Fa- it's just a bad movie. I think like the comparison and that most people make like. The, there's a sequel to it where it's like it's one of those things where it's like why is there a sequel like, like Girl and the Dragon Tattoo the fact that that has a sequel to the fucking David Fincher like they sequelized the David Fincher one without like David they Fincher tried to recreate the or tone. Rooney Mara true but guess what it's a good movie it's pretty good yeah. that's and Fede it's Alvarez it's the though. natural yeah. evolution of that story since it's a fully written out story yeah it's a trilogy yeah but like to not bring back David Finch's or Rooney Mara is like why I you're so, you're doing yourself a disservice? Just wait until well, I wanna, Maggie Gyllenhaal in The Dark Knight. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like what? I I forgive that because Kate uh, Katie Holmes is bad. I don't forgive it because they're different people. So just name them a different character. No, but Rachel Dawes is very important to. Yeah, but this she, that actress isn't in the sequel. So <laughs> am I supposed to believe that she got like full facial reconstruction surgery? <laughs> Like just, just recast it, dude. No, all right, absolutely yeah. not. It is weird. Yeah, really. It seems it's weird. It's a blemish on that movie to me. I agree. I agree. But to me, it's completely. <laughs> it's it's so epic. It's like the one. What in three, did you say to me, dude? It's a blemish on I, the movie. On which movie? The Dark Knight. Nah, dude. Here, here's the thing. I I agree, but. To me, the Dark Knight's almost standalone it's because it's so perfect. fucking good. Bam. Here's the thing: is like one and three, they're fine, they're good, but it's like one it's is a, excellent. One, one is fucking incredible. They're, you need to. Re- see, I do need to rewatch it. You do need to rewatch it because you've, on more than one occasion, kind of glossed over one. I and I I give you a pass. I was like, oh, it's been a while since you've seen it. But to say that one is not. Good. Come on, you, you know, man. all I remember from one is that there was so little Batman, it made me angry because it was like him going and training in Alaska. Yeah, because he that. begins, dude. Yeah. He's beginning. Yeah, wh- when you begin, you're not 
it already, dude. Yeah, I guess. Do you know what begins means? Yeah, I sure do. But could he Give have me begun? Give the dictionary definition right now. No. Mm. <laughs> could but, he? Could Batman have begun in the first act? But when he finally begins in the second act, it, it is. is it is so fucking worth the like that's worth it and it's it's kind of outplayed now because every fucking origin story tried to do that since mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah i guess like that's the template dude that's where it begins yeah. bro I ge- oh <laughs> fuck i get it now i genuinely think that i saw it once in theaters and hadn't seen it since oh, oh wow swear man. to god it's worth a rewatch. it's really good okay. yeah yeah point being i'd still put dark knight above it but of course, of course. yeah the point being, I feel like the Dark Knight quite it's so astronomically better than m- not only that, its, its first and third movie, but all of comic Super book Hero, movies. Yeah. It's almost a standalone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the godfather of comic book movies. Yeah. So but to me, the thing, first, it stands above all. Yes. But it's also not a standalone though. It I is know. a direct sequel. Yeah. And they're just replacing actor like but like can name you, them a different character n- because rachel dawes is so important in the first you're just not gonna have rachel die. dawes <laughs> you're just not gonna have her sure if you, you can't get the actress but like then the whole idea of rachel dawes in the first one and this like who do you replace that with mm, different actress catwoman sure <laughs> i don't know whatever man <laughs> i don't see it anything else uh <laughs> what, what we're, oh, we're on a tangent what? no i'm done Okay. That's it. Sicario, go check it out. Sicario's good. We're going to have to 4 3 that episode one. Do a GMT Fuck on that. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. G- a GMT? The GMP is what I said. Oh. It sounded like you said GMT. They did GMC. Sound. We know trucks. <laughs> <laughs> that could right. be that's, a perfect spokesman. That's a slogan. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's get in. Shall we get into the movie for this week, which is We're All Going to the World's Fair? You guys want to speed run this shit? Okay, here's the thing. Go ahead. You suggested this, right? Yeah. You are forever banned from suggesting <laughs> movies for the episode. <laughs> this is a really hard week, dude. Yeah, there's not much going on. This is kind of a trending movie on TikTok and so. Yeah. Is it? Apparently. For an ironic reason? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of done watching movies filmed on laptops. Dude. I'm pretty over that shit. Both of you, really? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I'm kind of done with the whole webcam thing. Ever since the first SNL webcam episode where they... Oh, God. Dude, fuck. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Was it a pandemic thing or something? Yeah, and they got an Emmy for it. It was literally like they created a category and gave them an Emmy for... It's bullshit. For what? Best Zoom skit? Pretty much. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I actually pretty... I like this movie. Holy fuck. Again, what? you are forever banned. What do you mean, dude? You didn't like everything, everywhere, all at once. That's Thank not you. fucking true. That's not fucking true. You didn't 4-3 it. You said I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't like it that much. What do you... But, what? I, liked, but I liked it. I didn't like it as much as you guys did. That doesn't mean I didn't like it. I didn't. Did you like and this I did not, better? No. <laughs> okay. No. But you liked We're All Going to the World's Fair. Yeah. There was yeah definitely some aspects that I liked. I I will agree there are some aspects. I will say conceptually I liked the first the fucking first eight uh first scene that lasts the first shot excuse me that lasts eight minutes the one where she goes into the barn or whatever. No 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 the very the very first shot where she's like starting the challenge and then the fucking flashy shit and like the way it was filmed the fucking silhouette of her and the fucking colors and all that shit flashing in her face. I, I thought that was badass. I thought it was a really cool shot. I thought I was a little unnerved during that shot. Yeah. Like yeah. The, like the brr- but here's the thing. I was expecting a lot more things to happen throughout this movie. For sure. When it did not, I was disappointed. This- Ultimately, I'm disappointed, but I liked it enough. This movie felt like I completely fucked up my YouTube algorithm and just left it on autoplay. Oh. Yeah, you know, just it, like all over the place. Yeah, but I mean, I guess that's sort of the point, right? <clears throat> yeah, but also, it's a creepy pasta, <sighs> fucking creepy pasta. The movie, dude. Yeah, she watches a creepy pasta video, and it's it's the ring on YouTube, and yeah, and then hilarity ensues. What if she just watched two girls, one cup? She's like, it's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the world's fair challenge. Poke. We yeah. farting into her mouth. Okay, so that one shot that was fucking amazing. That it, that's an eleven minute oneer. Fucking behind her, going into the barn, turning on that ASMR video, laying down, 
it was impressive. I thought that was great, but like it was unnerving because it's like this weird ASMR video is playing. That's unnerving. Yeah. Then you get the fucking her face. Yeah. That was crazy. That was the only part of the movie that really like I was like, oh cool. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, some shit's about to go down, and then it never goes down. True, true. That's it, the that's the thing that really bugs me about this movie is that like it's about to go down and it never does. It well, was there's a, there's that guy that pulls Dave and Buster tickets out of his arm. That was pretty. That cool. was cool. That was cool. There, there it was it, a cool effect for sure. Yeah, it was well done. <laughs> there, I, it was a <laughs> slow burn that just trickled out. Yeah, it was like okay, your build. You thought it was gonna erupt into a fire, and it just never did, really. And I gotta say, I was probably in the perfect uh, set and setting for this one. What's that? Nine o'clock last night is when I started this bad. Yeah, good. Lights on out a la- on a laptop. Really, really getting the fourth wall break in there. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, you said perfect. So yeah. I'm sorry. It's weird. You don't really seem to know what perfect means. We Shit. we immerse ourselves. Yeah. You watched it on a laptop. Mm-hmm. Both of you. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought you guys were going to like this more because of the internet creepy pasta <clears throat> well, aspects. If, if it got creepier, yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. If it got creepier, pasty. Creepier pasta. Creepier, creepier pa- pastier. Creepier if, the, if the fettuccine was a, more frightening. Yeah. The the children's book Strega Nona is creepier pasta than this. Creepier pastier. Creepier pasta. Creepier pastier. It's about a cauldron that makes infinite amounts of spaghetti. <laughs> Jesus, that's scary. It's, yeah, it destroys the town. <laughs> Spooky spaghetti. Am I right? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. That's um, what, that's, let's make a movie called Spooky Spaghetti based on that creepy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we have, wasn't that an episode? Spooky spaghetti? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, what? Wasn't that one of our episodes? No. For, um,. The scary stories three. to tell in the dark. Spooky, Spooky spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah, because we were trying to say creepy pasta, but we were. Creative. I don't think so. Look it up. Have you ever watched this I spaghetti will. western and been like, "There's no spaghetti in this"? <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. There are too many movies, scary stories to tell in the dark. BB, just Google spaghetti and see what you get. Pretty sure it's spooky spaghetti. Here is my top 50 pastas. Go ahead. Number 50, Farfalle. Number 49, Fusilli. Number 48, Lasagna. It's, it was actually Frightening Fettuccine that we did. Ah! <laughs> Which in hindsight is worse than spooky spaghetti. Hey, I like man. Frightening Fettuccine. Yeah, Whatever. Funny. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> Anyways, what else we got? <laughs> On the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Are we done? I'm uh, just kidding. Guy pulling toy. Her sleep video. I thought that was fucking creepy. The sleep video was very creepy. That was one of the when she smiled. Yeah, that was oh, one sure. of the only like, parts where I was like, okay. well, because I was like, I didn't know what to expect, and then she drags her arm, and then like, ee, like, and then it. That's it. I was yeah. like, oh fuck, this is gonna be crazy, dude. It, you thought shit was gonna pop off, and then does instead not. she just was there a, a moment in this that you liked? Yeah, whenever no, I mean, her, like, her face popped yeah. up on that video. There was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment. <laughs> All right. Uh, so One out of ten. Really? It's nah, I'd give it like a three probably. Okay, yeah. but like, was there a point in this movie where you fell off? You were like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this. Probably, I guess, the scene just after the... Where she makes that face in the camera. Okay. And then everything after that is just kind of like super inconsequential to the story. Yeah. Skype calls and shit. Yeah. Yeah, Skype calls. I didn't give a shit about the guy that's like looking out for her or whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool. He's another guy with mental illness. Yeah. Well, I I, I started to fall off, I think, on the third or fourth one -er, where I was like, okay, you're not cutting doesn't mean it's good cinematography. It just means you didn't really edit. Yeah, but no, it's not it, that. But it's, it's like we get it. You have a small budget. You know what I mean? Like yes, but it's a crutch to. It's in in a way when you do a oneer, just for the sake of like, look at this long shot that we didn't cut. Isn't it impressive? Isn't it? Didn't we hide the cuts well, or didn't we choreograph this shot well? All that stuff, like her getting up, recording that video, going all the way outside, finding the gun, laying down, putting on ASMR. Didn't cut for like eleven minutes or something. Yeah, and it was like cool but when it's not visually interesting it was boring yeah it was just like a when it doesn't feel high budget 
it just seems like a student film like following it's like it's like them trying to impersonate a fucking pta one or, or something yeah yeah you know what i mean it's it's <clears throat> when it's not visually interesting yeah t- totally makes sense it's just noisy they're following with the handy cam yeah it's not like a crazy like it's, it, does, it doesn't evolve and change shots over time it's which just is a something guy like, following her which yeah like, which yeah. is something kubrick was a master at mm. it would it'd be a long take and yeah. it would start as a close-up dolly that it's following then it ends on something else and it was three beautiful shots right but they connected to each other mm-hmm. where something started at this and ended at this this was just you know who does that really well dude is that uh fuck he did the favorite what's his name i don't know the uh, lobster oh, oh lars von trier no no um, oh he's the racist my bad <laughs> alexa who directed the lobster yorgos lanthimos directed yorgos, the lobster obviously Lon- that dude he's he great. fucking he fucks when it comes yeah. to like those oneers that are several shots pt is great at it too yeah that too uh I get it. It's not visually interesting, and like I was expecting a lot from like the artwork. Yeah. The, the TikTok <sighs> hype, TikTok hype, the fucking trailer. Even I was like, okay, this this could be interesting. I went in full blind. It man. could be a slow burn, and it was it, like all it was was a slow burn. Yeah. I uh, yeah. Um, one thing I wrote down is please don't say in her feature film debut in the opening credits because that puts so much weight on that. Also, don't have opening credits, but there's that. I like the opening credits. I like that they were, they weren't, uh, they didn't have sticks. They were fucking like shaky, mm-hmm. handheld fucking handwritten, opening credits. Handwritten. Yeah. I like that. They were stylized. I liked it. But I don't like that it said in her feature film debut because it was implying like, look how good she is. This is going to be a great performance. Get ready for it. Honestly, it was really good for a feature film debut. She was good. I liked her dancing. It was just fine. I mean, I've seen high school plays before. It's (laughs) fine. Her dancing scene was unnerving. I thought that was crazy. That scared me, actually. Yeah, when she like screamed out of nowhere. I watched it with headphones. So maybe that like was a lot. I was like, fuck. Yeah. But yeah, she's literally doing a TikTok dance and then burst into screaming. Were you just like, I'm so checked out? I was out. waiting for the movie to end. I was <laughs> yeah. I was over it like 20 minutes. The the credits, the song choices, if it, it felt like I like the music. It felt like it was like Juno or Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist with like the font choice and the poppy music and I was like bit. I was just not into it. Did you guys speaking of opening credits, did you guys see David Laurie's executive producer? Nope. David Laurie surprising. Of, of a of ghost, ghost story, story? fame mm-hmm. and Green Knight fame and the Green Knight okay. fame. So this is essentially the Green Knight. This is a spiritual successor <laughs> he, to a ghost story. It has his signature of approval on it. Yeah. How how do we feel about that? He supports low budget movies and filmmaking. I appreciate that about him. That's cool. You know, this director is now working on an A twenty four film with Emma Stone. Good for them. I I'm not signing. What, what am I trying to... I'm not, like... Writing her off. Writing off th- this actress or this director or anything. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like this movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? I will say, conceptually, it could have been very cool if you took some of the fucking laptop shots out and and made it pop off more. Like, made... I want to know what the World's Fair is. Yeah. That's... I, like, I want to know what the fuck that is. Well, I mean, let's just get right to it. The twist. Yeah. Which, They're playing, like, an AR g or whatever yeah which the whole movie you think she's hypnotized she's gonna lose her shit come to find out she's the only one amongst these people online that doesn't realize this is a role-playing game right so she's looking at people with all these crazy symptoms from watching this video and doing crazy shit losing control of their body I'm turning into plastic oh, yeah whatever. i'm turning into plastic right. i'm slapping my face i can't feel anything I, i've got tickets coming out of my arm and can she, you explain what what's the acronym that you just said rpg arg ARG. Augmented reality game. Did I say ARG? MMORPG? BBW versus BBC. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, RPG is role playing game. Okay. MMORPG is massive uh, massive multiplayer online role playing game. game. So what does that entail exactly? Are there other games that are something? Well, like in that? video game form, it could be World of Warcraft, it could be uh, The Witcher, it, it so could the, be GTA, arguably. Any any game where you play a role and it's like You're gonna get destroyed in comments for just weebs and Yeah, whatever. Just, but it's it what it really was it was more like Dungeons and Dragons in a sense. Right. They made the they made the comparison to an RPG mm. in 
in the movie, but I was like, this is more D and D. There's a dungeon master, and it's up to the people. Their trailheads, their storylines. It's up to the people to create their lore. Oh, that's okay. that's more D and D. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, and there's a dungeon master who like kind of wrote an outline. So that's of what the script. World Fair is. Yeah, the World's Fair. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, but I mean. They said MMORPG, which to me implies an actual video game. That is the definition. An yeah. MMORPG is like World of Warcraft, <clears throat> Guild Wars, yeah. D- DC Online, shit like that. An ARG is when the developers or writers of the ARG put real world clues somewhere in the world. Someone discovers it, shares it with the rest of the community, and then they all like break down these mysteries and stuff mm-hmm. like that together as a community or whatever. Yeah, it's like a live action scavenger hunt. Yeah. So th- this is creepypasta in that like it's a scary, spooky game that people are all like participating in. Yeah, and the, that's and the that's the idea guess, behind yeah, it. Yeah. I'm just trying to explain it for people yeah. that are listening. yeah, but like for the folks at home, for the yeah. folks at home. But the the people participating are also like writing the lore, and other people are yeah, they're like in on it, and yeah, but they're like expanding. my symptoms are this, and they're all writing it together. Totally, where mm. it's like oh, I liked what you did with that, and you could tell they're that's very Slender Man though, right? Yes. Is it? Yeah, Slenderman was a creepy pasta that became like an online community in a video game. And people were like, "Oh, you see it if you do this." And like, "Yeah, and if you do this." Oh, okay. And then you a will little see girl him. got murdered by other little girls, so there's yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, th- basically they were all trying to discover what the World's Fair was together. Mm. And, you know, it's just a, it was a game they were playing online. And I I liked that twist. I'm glad it wasn't like an actual demon just possessing. I'm glad yeah. it wasn't the ring. Right. I yeah. like that there was a real world twist. Right. But it didn't get the stakes weren't high enough, in my opinion. Like the she, synopsis does immediately spoil that if you watch it like on Prime or whatever. Really? Oh, really? It, it says outright a girl playing an online game doesn't realize that. Jesus. It's, oh, that it sucks. completely gives it away. So the whole time I was like waiting for like an isekai style twist and i was like oh that is just the story oh that sucks that sucks i went in blind this is why you don't read anything i am looking at my tv as i press play (laughs) (laughs) that's fucked that they did that yeah yeah that's lame um because yeah i was like i genuinely thought it was you know the ring or something and i thought it was going to be more of like a um like a dark web situation where it's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. go to a website and uh, like unfriended you. dark web. Yeah. Some mm, shit like yes. that. That's kind of what I was thinking. The this. other movie filmed on a laptop. So, and it didn't live up to the, uh, the expectation there for me. You know what I wish they did? Um, when they revealed, I wish they showed the guy, the older man too early. Yeah, he should have stayed a mystery. Yeah. Skype. YouTube communication, like a, he should have stayed an avatar mm-hmm. until the twist was revealed, mm-hmm. and then it cuts to him, just like a person. Yeah, just that guy. to yeah. me would have been better. But they had this whole other storyline of him, like with yeah. post-it notes on the wall, trying to get to the bottom of it. And I was like, the, that's the director was talking about how like this movie is actually about lonely people. And, I could see that, and how both of them are kind of going through this alone together, and. To me, it was a metaphor for everyone participating in social media and dancing in the World's Fair, which is the the play the Shakespearean and the world is your playground and the, the world internet is, is your the theater. World's Fair, if you really think oh. about it, oh, yeah, uh, RuneScape. And, and how it can make people famous or it can drive people crazy like this. Wow, dude, it's a big it's, brain fuck. Yeah, a big brain fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. You learn film school. What can I say? Shit, that's why I didn't get it. It's my bad. Also, I read the synopsis. As you just play. didn't get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's me tossing around my big brain. <laughs> <laughs> tossing it around my skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, but like, ultimately, I liked her performance. I liked some of the cinematography. Some of it. Uh, I like the aspect of it, and I like you said, I like that she. She is fucked up in her own way mm-hmm. and is taking the game literally and is like essentially uh what do you call it when you fucking take fake pills? What is that? Placebo. Placebo. She has a placebo effect to this game. Yeah. True, yeah. Um and it's showing like her true her true self. Yeah, but they I mean the gun thing was the highest stake imaginable. That before things popped off, she was like, I'm gonna kill myself or I'm gonna kill my dad. And it was like, Okay, it's getting things are popping off, right? And I think the climax of the movie is her in the green face paint 
and yeah. ripping yeah. up ripping up her toy, which wasn't super spooky. It, it, it seemed very at stake there. No, yeah, that scene could have just been her going. Yeah. yeah, and then he calls like your videos are getting so serious. <laughs> I'm so scared for you. Can I'm we, scared. Can we go off game for a second? She says you're a fucking pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He's Alrighty. like, well, we gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Wipe hard drive. <laughs> Throw it in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. He immediately he immediately Mr. Robots his fucking computer. <laughs> like oh fuck oh fuck oh go. shit oh fuck oh shit. I gotta go. Shot of him sitting over outside of a helicopter, dropping it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> helicopter going, <laughs> shooting the pilot, and then parachuting out. <laughs> oh fuck! Um, uh, that was missing in this movie. That's yeah. what would have set it off. That's that's what we really have gone. God, if it took that turn, dude, that would have been hilarious. That, I like- it became like a fucked up black comedy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like how he was like just a guy and his wife was just like bringing in groceries and stuff in the background, never addressed. Yeah. Yeah. Also, he, drink less milk. Weird. Yeah. He Microwaved like, milk. Yeah, yeah. That's some old man shit. Mm, that's some weird. senior citizen shit. That was more unnerving than the fucking green face paint video. Agreed. I was like, ew, lactose. And did you notice at the end he was in a children's room on the computer? Yeah. Lonely man. Marie. Maybe have lost a kid. Fuck his kid. Okay. Hey, we're gonna pull that. Oh, pull that. Fuck. Doom guy. No. <laughs> Doom guy, do your thing. <laughs> All right. Um, Superimpose me on hot ones. <laughs> Sean Evans, like, so what would you like to do? Fuck his. <laughs> so it's like so. In he, he deep dives and finds that clip. Um, Doom guy, do your thing. That's funny. Um, what else we got here? Anything else for this movie? It was fucking an hour and a half, right? Just a yeah. fucking whatever. A good length. For what it is. Oh, by the way, did the guy, did the older man actor, did he look familiar to, get, to you guys? Nope. He looked familiar. I, I couldn't tell you where he's from. He was in Beyond the Black Rainbow. Oh, he's the fucking oh. surgeon guy. God damn it. That's where I've seen him. You've never seen Because you've that. definitely seen Beyond the Black Rainbow. Un- under the Black Rainbow, for one thing. It's, it's not, that's wrong. It's Panos Cosmatos. That's correct. So I've seen it. I got the director's name right. Yeah. And you've also seen Mandy, of course. Of course. Which he also... Directed. Directed. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Man. It's almost like we finished each other's sandwiches. That's it. So yeah, yeah. Beyond the Black Rainbow is great. It is. Uh, it's a lot better out. than this movie. <laughs> Hell yeah. The fucking soundtrack. Oh the, my god. The fucking soundtrack. Wee! Robots. Ro- the robots rising. I love that. The, the, that. When they awaken the robot. <sighs> And they're like the, the fu- robots gonna and kill us. that that is a low ass budget movie but the fucking cinematography and art direction of that movie yeah holy fucking shit and, man and we've talked about this before but when something is low budget and you can't just vfx your way out of stuff the practical effects they're the forced practical to use. effects and problem solving they're forced to use in camera and i wouldn't have been able to say that if i hadn't seen under the black rainbow and yeah it's beyond the black rainbow but you know, you'd think you know that if you saw Sorry, it. That but, was the you know. original title, and I was also like, shouts to the Texas Theater because we saw Beyond the Black Rainbow at the Texas Theater right before Mandy came out. Hardest theater in Dallas. Shout out to Texas Theater. That was shout such out to, a good show. We love out, you. Shout out to Barack um, Obama. Uh, no, shut up. <laughs> Could you? Hey, I'm shut on the, fuck the podcast. Up. We're trying to shout out one of our favorite local Texas theaters, right? Where we saw Under the Black Rainbow in the Beyond- an amazing. Viewing. We, yes, as a you, collective, you didn't go with us. Yeah, I was. You weren't there. there. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. When did we go? February of 2016. Wrong. How do you even know that, dude? Fucking wrong. Because I remember when, when I saw every movie. When we saw it with Barack Obama, right? Yes. When you that's saw false. I, I was tricking you. When did Mandy come out? Oh, I well, I saw Mandy when I was like two or three. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, so it was a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. Is what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think because you're a fucking child. Because you're fucking seven. Is what my I'm mom watched it when she was pregnant with me, and then like I just like got that. Wow. You know what I mean, wow. So Alexa, I've seen it like when did way Mandy come out for you guys? Mandy by Barry Manilow was released All on right. December 31st, 1974. <laughs> so it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fuck you. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on this show? Uh, no. This movie? Um, I think that's it. You guys done? It's... <sighs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Is it 
Chinema with Marty Scorsese. Chinema. Is it Chinema? Guys, we have to determine whether or not. What the fuck is this movie? Uh, we're all going to the World's Fair. Is Cinema. Alex, you want to go first? No. Uh, Josh? It's Cinema. Ah! Uh, Chris? In the light of Marty Scorsese's, in the light of fun versus five head ratio, you know, you gotta. It can be three head if it's fun, it can be five head and forgive other things. In that ratio, I don't think it's cinema. <laughs> <clears throat> Not cinema. Not cinema. Hypothetically, let's say we said it was cinema. Josh? Is what? it four three? No. Okay. <laughs> No, so, so it's I would the same name. category as everything all at once right. for you. To so Josh, they are on the same. They're exact on the same level. level. So it's cinema, not four three. Just like everything, everywhere, all at once, which has made people that haven't been to the theater in decades cry. <sighs> Guys, people can have differing opinions. What? Mm. Nah, there's our opinions, and then like wrong the great, wrong. Yeah. like the great Steve Jobs once said, "Think differently." Dude. Uh, the guy that intentionally didn't get cancer treatment for the cancer he knew he had. The yes. guy that he just ate grapefruit instead, dude. The guy that had child labor people jumping out of buildings because they didn't want to make any more of his little glass phones. The guy that didn't hey, know gonna, how to kind of program. I. It's actually our show. Shout out to <laughs> it, it filmed on an iPhone. Shout out to our show. Whatever. Shout Shout out to our show. <laughs> Shout out to our existence. I don't know. Shouts to us, dude. Dumb movie title for this piece of shit. Piece of shit, dude. Mm, it was a piece of yeah. shit. It was a piece of shit. I would it was call whatever. it that. Yeah. You can't say that, man. I, I look. I don't like to disparage others' art because it's something that they work on, and lots of people contribute. Yeah. And it's a story that came from a human head, and that's important. But sometimes we speak it's in shit. hyperbole, and it should. All right, fine. Sometimes we speak in hyperbole and we say things like, this is the worst piece of shit, dog shit, cum right. load movie We're all seen. going to the big piece of shit. <laughs> well, that's my DMT. In yeah. fact, if you want to fucking tra- pivot to that, we're all going to the world's fart. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Thank you. Is that it? I got one more, right. two more. <laughs> worst dungeon master ever. And then last one, which absolutely can't be the title because we'll be get demonetized is and it- shunned into the algorithm. Like, comment, and suicide. Ah, nice. That's pretty good. That's funny though. It yeah. is, but if we comment, if we yeah, we can't, we can't put it. Nope. We'll it, don't ever talk about it because the, then people will talk about here. Th- th- it exists. It, 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 you know. Listen, I we usually get like twenty to fifty views. I don't want to get ten to fifteen views on that YouTube. That would be bad. Yeah, that's way worse. Shout out to our visual listeners who listen to the show and not watch it. Yeah. We're all going to the world's big fat load of cum is mine. Nice one, dude. Obviously. Good job. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? That's really it? Okay. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, Creepypasta cinema, fun time. It was a fun time, huh? Mm. I'm kind of just saying. Go ahead. Not a fun mm. time. <laughs> not a fun time to me. <laughs> Animator. Reanimator. Oh. Reanimator. Ah, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. And David Lynch's inside. Like Bo Burnham's inside. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'd rather watch a David Lynch film than this again. But... I actually agree. Also, re- nah, never mind. begrudgingly. Have you seen Reanimator? It's fucking no. fire. I think we're all going to the world's fart. <laughs> Shall we guess how much this movie costs to make? I am curious. And by curious. So if you guys are hanging, whatever you're doing after this. <laughs> uh, go ahead. A hundred thousand dollars. This costs like a million. One million. Yeah. I'm going to guess two million for the fuck of it. Can I change my guess? Nope. This is not going to work, but Alexa, how much did the movie We're All Going to the World's Fair cost to make? We're not going to get it. Here's something I found on the web. According to forumotion.com, the movie cost $200 million. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah, there it is. Cut to our TikTok commenters. No way it actually There's cost There's no him. fucking way. <laughs> you guys are idiots. We we posted a clip about budget where we clearly like laughed because it, it was, was wrong. Brink. It was on Brink. It was on Brink. Yeah. And everybody was like, dang. <laughs> That's impossible. Hey, fucking duh. Yeah. Oh my God. Hence laughter. Yes. Yeah. Hence Duh. Yeah. We weren't laughing because we're like, oh my god, I can't believe it cost a billion dollars to make Brink. Idiots. Anyways. They're fucking idiots, man. <laughs> Shout out to the people who found us via TikTok. <laughs> Which is everyone. Uh, yeah, we're not going to find it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Perfect. Let's, Let's do just movies. say I won because, you know, I was probably closest. Let's not do that. It's not a big deal. Let's do I movies. Probably won. Let's do movies that were filmed on a laptop. I'll go first. Oh. We're all going to the World's Fair. Oh, shit. Hold on. Unfriended. Profile. The host. Or maybe it's just host. Yeah, I think you're right. Fear.com. Sure. Did you say unfriended? Uh, that was, you're out. That was my big brain. You can't answer. ask that. You okay. can ask. That's part. No, you can't. You can ask. That's part of the game. If you say one that other somebody else said, you're out. You can't check. Which is nice and these slice that goes against the rules. <laughs> that's that's the great impression of your favorite. Exactly your, your role what you model. Sound like. Did you say anything in German actually just now? Probably not. <laughs> no. Do you have a guess? No. You're out? Okay. I was out. You said I was out. Paranormal activity? Ah. Is it a webcam if it's your security footage? One of them is has some webcam footage for uh, sure. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> Paranormal activity covers all of them. Fuck you. Yeah, good point, actually. Uh, Wreck. Three. That's not a movie. Record. Oh, okay. I'm like, it's, wreck it, Ralph. Uh, as a cinephile, <laughs> I know what wreck means. Oh, man. Oh, is that how you say wreck? Yeah. I just re realized one. Have, hey, have you seen the movie Wreck? Yeah. That's how you say it. That's how you, you would recommend legitimately. If you were like, uh, the movie Wreck. Yeah that's, yeah, yeah, that's how you say it. Everybody would say record. No. No. You type wreck, but no, you say I've literally record. Here's the thing: I've ever heard you say, have you seen the movie Record? It's only shorthand. It's shorthand, so you don't pronounce the full word. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'm back in. VHS. Let's go. <laughs> That's uh, nice. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I win. <laughs> <laughs> go me. Fuck it, dude. Let's get the fuck out of here, huh? Yeah. Anyways, uh, you know, if you could, I'm gonna ask you again. Tell someone about us. I want you to tell all your friends about. Seriously, me. fucking, if they like movies, which is fucking everyone. We all just got gaped at work this week. We sure did. So let's just give us some money so we can live off the grid for a little while. Yep. If you fuckers aren't paying our bills, we have to. If you want us to sound you better, know, like normal people. I mean, it's only facts. If we get more money, we will sound better. Yes. We'll be funnier. Yes. True. We'll be sexier. We'll have more True. on our watch list. We'll have more on our watch I'll list. I'll have money to wax my legs again. Again? Yeah, they've gotten out of control. Later, Toads. Bee.